Hello and welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how you can increase EBS volume in AWS EC2. So, right now I have an instance which has 8 GB of storage attached to it. So, we have 8 GB of storage and I am going to increase this EBS storage from 8 GB to 100 GB. So, I can go here in my volumes, select the volume I want to extend and then click on actions, click on modify volume option. Right now the storage is 8 GB and if you want to increase you can type in the number you want. So I am going to increase it 100 GB. So I want to make it 100 GB and modify it. So once this is modified you can see refresh it and it says the volume has been modified. But this is not it. You need to run some commands to make sure that the instance is using this 100 GB. So I am going to log into my instance which is here so let me share my terminal right now i am ssh into my instance which is this ip172 and i'm going to clear this out if i show you the command df h to see how much storage is right now so we can see uh, we have 7.6 gb out of which we have used this and 70 percent is remaining so right now we have allocated 100 gb but it's still not using 100 gb and to do that I am going to run some commands so I can search for increase EBS size EC2 and it will open a document which is by AWS itself. Copy the commands present here. So this command sudo lsplk will show me all the volumes present and the partitions as well. So run this command sudo lsplk. Sorry. lsplk and it gives me all the list so you can see 7.9 gb is what we see here uh, which is 8 gb and i need to increase the storage because you can see 100 gb is here so we need to make use of 100 gb at this path xvda so i'm going to run some commands so these commands are different if you're using nitro instance you need to this if you're using zen you need to use this so you can choose any of them right now we're using this one because we can see the path as xvda xvda so i'm going to copy this and paste it in my terminal again and it, it gives me an output says change partition and this output but if you get something some error like this which says cannot create directory or any must supply partition number or anything else you can configure it by reading the information here so you get this error whenever there is no space you need to delete something so that this command can run now i need to run the next command which is sudo lsplk again so i'm going to run the command sudo lsplk so sudo lsplk and now you can see it's 99 gb earlier it was just 7.6 gb something so lsplk 7.9 gb now it is 99.9 gb which means we have increased the storage so I'm going to run this command and see what do we get sudo resize to fs and it says resize happen and if I run the command df hyphen ht I should see that now the storage has been increased to 97 GB so this is how you increase your storage and you can start using your 100 GB that you have modified using your EC2 console so you can see it is 100 GB now and it's also using the same inside the terminal as well which is 97 GB which means I have increased my storage from 8 GB to 100 GB so this is how you increase storage in your EC2 if you have any questions any doubt you can always drop the, uh, drop the questions in the comment and I will answer that for more videos on AWS and EC2 please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a good day